Hey, what's going on? Hope you guys are well. It is Pyro <laughs> back for some more Rocket League. Uh, the last couple of days has been crazy, guys. I have been just exercising so much. I really don't know why. I've just really felt an urge to get out and exercise lately. And, you know, it's weird because I look back a year or two ago and I was always going to the gym, but my goals were so different back then like I was going to the gym so I could put on weight and look good and now I'm prioritizing my wellness over anything else so everything that I do in my life is to make me feel good and to calm down my brain and I you know I, I was really just lifting weights back then but now I'm kind of going out cycling every day uh, not every day but I'm going out cycling um, I'm running almost every day, you know, I'm doing the weights, um, and everything's just falling into place a lot better. I find I'm being a lot more consistent, and my diet, like, when I was putting on weight years ago, I would just eat whatever I could get my hands on, you know, like KFC or McDonald's, you know, stuff like that, and I'm taking a lot more, uh, a lot more of a sort of healthy approach to eating, you know, I'm making sure I'm getting all my micronutrients, uh, I'm juicing every day like for me juicing was a big one and it's really just given me so much more mental cl clarity lately um, you know I, I find uh, I, was, I was listening to a podcast today at the gym uh, the, the Rich Roll podcast Rich Roll is a, an ultra athlete he does like these uh, ultramans which is like a double Ironman and for those of you who aren't aware an Ironman is like uh, I think it's like a uh, 2.6 mile swim, 100 mile bike, and a 26 mile run, basically a marathon. So this guy uh, does two of those back to back, and he has a really interesting story. He came from like a, he came from, uh, I think he went and studied law and then became addicted to uh, alcohol and, uh, you know, went to rehab and then got out and I think he got winded walking up the stairs and was like, this has got to change. And he just started exercising a lot. And I used to be under the, oh, I used to be under the mindset that, um, you know, uh, there was, I could overtrain. And obviously there is such thing as overtraining. You know, if you go and lift like heavy compound weights every day. But in terms of cardio, like, I, I'm just capable of so much more than, you know, <laughs> my body. Yeah, I'm capable of so much more is what I'm trying to say here. And a lot of the sort of limits that I put on myself are self-defined. Um, so I've been going out every day and running. Uh, I have been taking, you know, light days. I, I really don't advocate going all out every day, but, um, you know, I have been doing days where I really will just do like a light jog and then some yoga or something. Um, but I've been doing that and I've just had so much more energy. Like I haven't really felt depressed in a while, you know, cause sometimes I do go through those depressive phases. So it's, it's really, you know, I wonder what eating really clean and exercising every day can do for you. Um, so, you know, anyone struggling out there, just look at what foods you're putting in your mouth and make sure you're moving your body about every day, even if it is just a small walk. Because for me, that has had such a difference. And I've also been meditating a lot, man. Like, um, I, you know, one thing meditation has taught me is how, how much like I try to avoid things you know like how much my mind doesn't want to engage in certain things and I'll be constantly finding ways to run away and for like a long period of my life I was just like uh, doing this motivational procrastination which is you know I was going and reading a lot of books um, but I wasn't taking action and you know people people want to have everything perfect you know like for me when I first started running I was like what's the best pair of running shoes that I can get um, or like what's the best training plan and a lot of the time you know it's it's just getting out there and doing the actual thing itself um, that brings the most results and you figure it out along the way so meditating for me has really exposed that sort of uh, want to you know the want to avoid things and how my brain just tries to come up with all these excuses um, I'm actually gonna head back to the, the goal and uh, I understand myself a lot more. I, you know, I, I uh, downloaded the Headspace app and I never really give it, you know, a thought because I always get meditated by myself. I'd never did a guided meditation. I've only done a few. A guided meditation is basically where 
you'll get someone who's been practicing for a long time just kind of walking you through the steps and bringing you back to center and you know reminding you you know if your mind wanders off just bring it back to your breath or your body or whatever and uh i've been doing that in the morning man and it's really just set my day up well you know 10 20 minutes of that guided meditation in the day and then at night when i want to switch off i just do my own sort of 20 minutes of breathing meditation and it just makes me so much more aware of where i'm standing and what i need to do combined with the exercise and the eating clean it's just done wonders for my mental health and i know i sound a bit droney at times but i always say that you know these videos are as much for me uh as they are for you guys I like to use these videos as a platform for me to express my thoughts uh, and also to really sort of regurgitate them to me because I was reading uh, Henry David Thoreau's Walden. I really like that book. It's about uh, Thoreau in the 1800s. He went out and lived in a little, you know, uh, hermitage, I guess, out in the middle of the woods uh, by himself and just kind of explored nature. And... Uh, there was a really good quote in that I liked. It was like, he was uh, talking about this uh, ancient king. I can't remember what, where he was from, but he had uh, an inscription on his bathtub that read, like, renew thyself every day, do it again, do it again, and forever again. And that sort of read someone to me. Like, I, you know, I find that I need to constantly engage in these positive activities. I need to constantly regurgitate to myself all of these sort of, you know, mindful and happy practices that I do to bring me in check. And I found a big one, you know, I, <laughs> this has kind of came out of nowhere, but I used to think Snapchat was for 13 year old kids. And uh, <laughs> I downloaded it and my, my opinions changed so much because I've been following so much of these people that I really inspire to be and really, not inspire to be per se, but I get a lot of motivation from them. And just watching how they go about their day to day life and what they do kind of, you know, reinforces me in what I'm doing and a lot of you guys uh, who follow me on Snapchat, my Snapchat is P-A-U-L uh, dash T-W-O Paul 2 um, say that to me, you know, like it's very inspiring and motivating and I find when you constantly bring yourself back to those good and positive, I don't mean to go too spiritual or woo-woo, but you know, those good pos positive energies and you know, doing something with your time, it really does rub off on you, you know, maybe not in one day but if you keep doing it every day man it does and you know i can only speak from my own experience here but you know slowly i'm getting there slowly i'm getting there i feel like even though i maybe haven't made much physical progress um i have a better sense of well-being and i kind of i'm a little bit more grounded and know what i have to do in that regard um he's gonna miss that almost did i get it i got it nice um, so, you know, just throwing some thoughts out there for you guys. Um, someone asked me on Twitter today, like, what's the biggest thing? For me, like, I, I, I know a lot of people look down on, not look down on, but they find it a bit weird juicing. I really like juicing just because it gets my, my body filled with all these nutrients that I otherwise wouldn't get. And, uh, you know, I don't juice to lose weight or, you know, to do anything. But juicing for me is just for my mental health more than anything. Um, oh, that was a wicked bounce. Guy coming in top that across all three of us went for that just pinch that out so that was the big one for me um and then i've been reading a lot more like uh, i used to read a lot of like psychology but i've been reading a lot more biographies lately and just i find that you know i it's, it's so easy for us to think at times that we're the only ones suffering from a certain type of problem but there's so many people out there in the world that have faced the same things that we have as a really nice pass um, and you know reading biographies of these people who have come from such a low place you know suffered from uh, things like depression anxiety or battled addictions like alcoholism really you know hits home or people who have come from like you know really abusive uh, childhoods or traumatic childhoods I'm gonna go for this I just didn't get the final touch um, you know, it really does relate to you, you know, I haven't had anything that bad happen to me, but, you know, um, have some stuff going at home with the parents and kind of suffer from, a, you know, a little period of depression and anxiety, uh, myself, and, you know, it is very liberating to realize that all of these awesome people who did so much with their lives, 
you know, R2 making progress and just how they've done that. So, again, this is more like a brain dump for me this episode. Then Should I go for that? Then anything? I'm gonna... Oops, no, I don't. Just help that on. There we go. So, there's some thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Spread the positivity. Got him, man. You gotta. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Have a good one. Uh, if you relate to anything what I said, I would love to get your opinions. I really like. It's a big part of YouTube. I like just getting different feedback and you know what people think. So yeah, catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye bye.